Well, I want you to meet the newest member of the Terrio family. This is Nikki, better known as Nickerdoodle. She's a little Shih Tzu and she is our, our new baby in the family. And you know what? Because she's a baby, she is a messy, messy eater. But I have a solution to that problem and I think you might like it too. If you have a lovely little pet like this at your house, I'm gonna create a little doggy mat. So let me hand off little Nickers. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this adorable mat. Okay, here are the supplies that you're gonna need. First of all, you can go to a um, carpet store or a home improvement store and you can purchase or ask for remnants. These are samples, they come in different sizes. This is a fairly large one, but I like it large. Um, and, and they come in different colors and different textures. I try to find something a little bit smooth to work with. I'm gonna make some of my own stamps because I wanna make little bones and little doggy impressions with the little footprints. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Of course, scissors, a pencil. I have some stamps here that I purchased. Um, letters and I want to create um, some wording on it, maybe the puppy's name or whatever. So here's what I want to do. Um, I'm going to start with some paint and I like to use a paper plate as a palette because you can throw it away when it's done. So I'm going to use black paint and I'm going to put a little bit out on my paint palette here, not too, too much. And I like to use a sponge brush because, well, I can clean them out or I can just throw them away. I actually do repurpose them quite often, but if I choose to throw it away, then I can. And this is a really nice sponge brush, by the way. I like these sponge brushes. Okay, so, and paper towels. Don't forget about paper towels. So I'm gonna put this off to the side for just a second and I wanna show you how to make your own stamp. So now, if you don't feel comfortable drawing something out, then you know you could print something off the internet or whatever, but you just wanna get some thick craft foam like I have here. This is really super thick foam, and this is important. You want this kind of thick foam. And I'm just gonna maybe draw out you know, the shape of a bone, which I already did, and I already cut mine out, okay? I mean, maybe that's, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> It's a pretty good bone, okay? Anyway, I already did mine, and here it is, and I've already used it. Once you draw that shape out, then you cut it out with your scissors, which I've done here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna start building up something to hold your stamp with, which I've started to do right here. And what I basically do are you, you know, I use some of the leftover pieces here. So, um, because I don't have any sitting here, I'm gonna cut off a piece. Just like this. And with my glue gun, I'm just gonna add another handle to this. And the reason why you do this is because you need something to grip onto when you're stamping. For example, this stamp right here, this isn't thick enough. Well, actually it is, but you know what? Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and add one more piece to it just so that I can, again, have something to grab onto. Because if you don't, what happens is you get the um, tips of your fingers in the paint, and then when you go to press your stamp down, you just kind of ruined your impression. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So there you go. So now I have a nice, thick stamp to work, work with. And this one right here, this is how I did the little paw print. I just made one big circle and then three little circles for the paws. Glue them on just like that and try to make it so that there's a separation in between each paw and the paw pad there. Okay, so there we go. Now I have my cute little doggy stamps. And of course you can buy doggy stamps at the store, but why when you can make them? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and print or stamp my doggy bone down here in the corner. And I like to, as opposed to putting my stamp in the paint, I prefer to paint the paint onto my stamp. I don't know, I just, it's just better that way. Especially 
when you're using the letters because then too much paint gets on there and then it gets in between and it makes a big blob and you just don't want that. And because this carpeting is textured, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp right here in the corner with this little doggy bone. Um, and because the carpeting's textured, it, it actually, you know, it's not gonna be a perfect impression. And if you want a perfect impression, then you know, you might wanna stamp it twice. Okay. Ooh, I love this. Okay, see, it's not real dark. I actually went in and, and did that one twice. So I'm gonna do this one twice too. You can just go right over it again. And if you want it super dark, go back in with a paintbrush and fill it in, which is really easy to do, okay? If you wanted to, you can go back in and add some more texture and color to it. Okay, there we go, love it. All right, now let's do a little paw print here. And the other thing, here's another great tip. Just put a little bit of paint out at a time. You know, I live in a really dry climate here, so what happens is the paint dries up really fast. So I just put a little bit out at a time and that way it doesn't dry up on my plate. So what I'm gonna do with the paw print is, you know, I want it to look like, you know, the, the puppy, well, this would be a very big puppy, by the way, <laughs> walked across the mat. So I don't really care where it goes. So I'm gonna go like here, here, here. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I want that one just a little bit darker. Is this not the cutest darn thing you've ever seen? I love this. Okay, now I'm gonna do the lettering. And um, instead of spelling out her name, I'm gonna spell out Bow Wow. And I'm going to do this upside down, <laughs> in case you didn't notice. Okay, so once again, I'm gonna take my sponge brush, sponge my letters, and I think I want Bow Wow to kind of go kind of across the top right here. So start with the B. Give me a B. 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 Got it. Give me an O. O. Got it. Give me a W. W. <laughs> okay. Got it. I'm gonna use a different W for the beginning of wow. Give me another W. W. Excellent. Different O. Is it different shaped O's? Oh, give me an O. Oh. Okay, thank you. Whew, almost messed that one up. And then one more W. Give me a W. W. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Woohoo. Look at this. How adorable is that? Now, because it's acrylic paint, when it dries, it's washable. So if there's you know some major spills on this little rug, I can clean them up and the paint won't come off because it is an acrylic paint. Okay, so now my little knickerdoodle won't get snickerdoodle all over my nice floor. <laughs>